Your boy just woke up literally 30 minutes ago. I ain't brushed my teeth. I ain't take a shower. But what we gonna do is react to the video thanks to the power of FTC, bro. I literally had non-stop DM. Bro, I'm not even capping right now, bro. No cap whatsoever in my rep. Bro, I got home at like 6 o'clock, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? I didn't even, I didn't even wake in bed. Usually I wake in bed every time, even before I even do a video, bro. But this apparently to everybody is just so important and so fire, dog. Like, bro, look, bro. Everybody asking me, bro, fly. Flight, 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 flight. Red to the new Pretty Boy Fredo video. Now, when it came, you know what I'm saying, to Fredo two times, bro, especially with situations like this, you know what I'm saying, I kind of like, in a way, wanted to just like, you know, not react to it in a way, only just because, you know, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying, but... This is a long video, you know what I'm saying, and this is like kind of the first time Jasmine's got back on camera. And as you guys all know, if you haven't been sleeping on a rock, you know what I'm saying, they broke up, and then, you know, Jasmine tried to accuse them of cheating and everything like that. I'm 100% neutral, just like every other video in this situation, I'm on nobody's side. But in my opinion, yo, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, Fredo didn't cheat, you know what I'm saying, and I'm going to explain the reason why, in my opinion, why I believe he didn't. Um, a lot of things he was stating is that that he been broke up with Jasmine, but didn't put it on social. Not everybody has to put things on social, you know what I'm saying, and you know stuff like that, man. But they're basically about to be talking about the problems. Of this little nice intervention. Make sure you grab your freaking snacks before, you, bro. You didn't grab no snacks before you clicked on this video. What's wrong with you, man? You know I had to stop at the damn healthy ish today, bro. We got the strawberry mango smoothie in this bit. We got the chicken Caesar vegan style wrap green. You know what I'm saying lettuce. I mean not. I mean lettuce is green is. <laughs> but uh the the green wrap with it. You know what I'm saying we got double fruit with it on stuff. You know what I'm saying a, a nice. You know what I'm saying a good hangover recovery and everything like that. Let's get on to the video, man. And shout out to the people who won the PS4 and Xbox giveaways. You know what I'm saying. You know always stay tuned to the videos I made. Just have them popping in and out. Let's get it. You made me feel like shit. You, you made me feel like a bad shit. Because Hashtag I reaction shit. got down below. Wait, 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 wait. We're not skipping anything. If I want to see you do better, I don't give a f. I don't give a f. Oh, how? That doesn't even make sense to me at all. All of a sudden, you don't want to be with me. Listen, if I felt betrayed, as in, I felt like you gave up on me, I felt like you completely gave up on me, you completely gave up on the family. I no longer wanted you. I no longer wanted to be with you. I didn't feel that. Why the f am I gonna be with you? I feel like if we're in a relationship and I'm going through something, then you should still be there for me. And I was. I we You went to therapy, did you not? Did I not suggest you to go to therapy? Were you not in therapy and you were working on yourself and I was still doing videos, correct? Now here is you know what I can say based off of everything. Um, in my opinion, if anybody's ever going through something, whether if it's relationship problems or like any mental health issues or whatever, I feel like therapy never works. I feel like it's just the government's plan to get you to waste money. Like how is somebody basically going to train you and tell you how you should act when you're, they're not even in your own body? You know what I'm saying? They're, they don't, they're not your soul. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you have to overcome all the hard stuff by yourself you know I feel like when people go to therapy you know they're relying on another human being to basically tell them how they should act last time I checked that you're supposed to be you know acting yourself and this and that so I feel like you know going to therapy sometimes can even make it worse you know so I feel like that's probably a, a, a part where she had messed up on like if you were feeling sad you know maybe get a friend or something or start going out and partying more or something or this and that but therapy, bro, I feel like 90% of the time that shit never works. Because when girls get brought into it. And exactly. Because every time I was in therapy, all I was talking about is how you're disrespecting me with all these girls. What you did was not okay. I do feel betrayed. I do feel like you stepped out on our relationship. And I felt like... I feel like you did something that was unforgivable. And how are we supposed to go back to that? I can get better and go back and work and want to do YouTube videos, but how do we go back from from a personal betrayal where I where you're living all these different lives? How do we how do we go back from that? Two months after a breakup, me Jasmine finally decided hash out differences to better understanding and try and move forward for a daughter. All right, you're welcome for helping y'all reading that. Um, so basically this is your first time, uh, you know, talking it out and the difference is basically what the paragraph states. Or does that count as a paragraph? I don't know. Mom, I'm 
degree. Hopefully they don't fight or anything like that, you know? What? <laughs> Bro, my heart hurting, man. What the fuck? Do this. My heart is hurting. Whatever. I swear to God. Whatever. It is. I swear to God. You already made me cry before we even started filming. I'm like aggravated. I was simply just telling her before the video started how much she means to me, you know? Off camera. <laughs> That's dope. <sighs> For the past three or so years, every aspect of our life has been on camera. Just about every single up, every single down, this entire roller coaster. And uh, we've been in control. We've been able to control that roller coaster any way we wanted to turn. And uh, you know, a few months ago, things for our relationship took a turn for the worse. There's a lot of problems and a lot of things going on behind the camera that you guys didn't see. It was only a matter of time before shit, shit hit the fan. Shit hit the fan. <laughs> really? In this video, I'm not going to try to justify that I'm right. I'm hoping that she's not going to try to justify <laughs> her side. I came here with them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> simply just want to not point fingers, but take accountability and responsibility for whatever roles and whatever actions took. That's all, you know what I'm saying? That's what life comes down to, you know what I'm saying? On up to any, you know what I'm saying, mistakes and learning from them, you know what I'm saying? You can't become a better person if you don't take an L because how are you going to learn to be a boss if you don't know the things that causes you to fall and take an L? He hasn't had the opportunity to talk on camera, so today um, I've been trying to get her, you know, to do this. I feel that it's only right that Jasmine gets to say her side. I get to reiterate my side, and we get to come to more of an just understanding, an understanding. more understanding. of an understanding. Um, last night we actually had a conversation for the first time from these past two months about our relationship, wow. about everything that went on, everything that was going right and everything that went wrong. And I feel like that was the most healthiest conversation we've ever had. In like years. In years. Like and it was years. something that we needed. And before we brought it to the world, we needed to first deal with it with ourselves, but you know, there's a lot of healing and things that needed to be done and put in place before we could do so. So without further ado, I, I don't really want to talk too much. <laughs> I don't want to talk. Let me just see this camera right quick. They be look like, good. Sorry. <laughs> where do I even start? I don't, like, I don't even know where to start right now. I don't even know. Fredo drawing a beard? I didn't want to do this video. I didn't want to have a conversation. I just kind of wanted to avoid, not really pretend like what happened happened but i feel like the only way for me to like deal to just avoid this all and i've just been so angry i've been so angry and hurt and i just feel so betrayed and just like a million emotions i feel like our problem started right after we got engaged things just weren't working right i was just really focused on ava and i didn't really care to do anything but take care of Ava. Didn't mm. have help. Like I was 24 7 with that little girl. Ava, 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 Ava. Ava, Ava, Ava. I kind of lost myself in being just a mom and I didn't really care about working. I didn't care about Ada that much. <laughs> Shit sounds bad. But I didn't care about like. That's the reality of the situation. I didn't care about anything but Ava. I didn't realize that's what was happening. And I mean, that's a good sign in a way. You know what I'm saying? She's really all focused about being a parent. You know, a lot of people nowadays get the responsibility of having kids and they still put their focus on themselves. No, that's not how it goes. When you have a kid, your focus is supposed to be on a kid. Your life is in a different chapter. You know what I'm saying? And Jasmine did what she could possibly do, you know what I'm saying, in taking care of Ava and putting her focus on Ava, which is 100% right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's not going to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? There's, she's not even the only one that really goes, you know what I'm saying, through different sad or depression phases when they're just locked down inside the house 24-8 taking care of a child, you know what I'm saying, like, that stuff type of stuff happens, it's like, you know, basically you're just 
on lockdown. You know, you just don't have anything to do but to take care of the child and your freedom is kind of gone because your responsibility is on the child. You know what I'm saying? And that's a good thing because she's taking a sacrifice to do that because if she was doing the opposite and still partying and going out and still shopping, excuse me, you know what I'm saying? That's not what a good parent's supposed to do. So in a way, she's, she was already on the Until right track. yesterday when we were having the conversation, he was telling me that he... I was just telling her, I felt like she lost sight of herself. I felt like she lost sight of our relationship. I felt like she lost sight of what we were building. At the time, we were doing the Two Times Family. We were going strong. Things were going great. Taking vacation. Great things happening. And all of a sudden, you know, Jasmine wanted to stop. And for me, I'm the type of person, I can't stop. I don't care how much success I've seen or what I see in my life, I just can't stop. I knew she had so much going on with motherhood and just herself and being secure with herself. This is why I don't want to say this because I don't want to talk for you. I know we're both like talking for each other. You're, cause you asked me. <laughs> no. But I don't want to talk for her. But no, but I'll tell you if you're not saying the right thing. Okay. But um, I could just see that she wasn't, she wasn't happy with herself. I was great as a mom fine as a mom but every other aspect of life was just not okay it was like I, abandoned it was abandoned in those moments i didn't think about it because i felt like my only priority was ava i was taking care of her you weren't really taking care of her like i was you were there but she was my responsibility and your responsibility in my eyes was to work Provide. To provide. We, we both were lost. I have my role of providing, 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 and that's pretty much the only thing that I became focused on. And I was abandoning the, the other things inside of my life. I was abandoning Ava. Not that I wasn't there. You I was, were physically there. I was there. physically there, but I wasn't mentally and I wasn't... You were hands-on. I wasn't hands-on. Wow. And she, on the other hand, was abandoning the relationship and abandoning YouTube. So it was kind of flip-flop. And we both didn't realize that. Until like yesterday? Until last night. I felt like because she didn't want to do YouTube no more, she no longer wanted to provide for the family. She no longer wanted to be a part of this big empire Why? That built, you know? Why? Um, every, what did you build? You helped me build, 100%. And I'll never take credit for that. I think you forget that sometimes. I will never, I will never forget that. <laughs> I will never forget that. Now, come on, now that's, let's be fair now. That's not kind of fair. Let's be realistic. In my opinion, Fredo built this channel by himself. Jasmine had a helping impact, but even if Jasmine didn't show up on his channel at all, he'll still be, you know what I'm saying, where he's at today. And the second thing that's kind of like red flagging, if you see clearly that you helped them build it and you want to take the credit, you know, I understand you have a you know a, a child, a daughter, and everything like that. You feel me? And you know, you gotta put your 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 full attention on the daughter, you know what I'm saying, for a so couple of months. But in my opinion, what did you remember? How, how did y'all get there? You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to still stick with the game plan. Like, I didn't know where she thought she was going to, you know what I'm saying, go if she just felt like staying out of YouTube videos without people questioning and asking. You know what I'm saying? Because now, when you have a kid with a girl, you damn near turn into a couples channel. A primary, even though there was already a couples channel. <coughs> we good! But anyway, even though, you know what I'm saying... You was a couples channel before, you're more of a family channel. That's the basic word I was looking for. You're a family channel now, and you got to stick with that, you know what I'm saying, and continue building off a great empire. It was kind of, in my opinion, selfish and jazzed in a way to just be like, hey, I don't feel like doing this. I feel like we made it. Let's just raise a family. She basically was just like, forget YouTube, you know what I'm saying? If, if Honestly, if... Fredo was like, you know what I'm saying, wrapped around a finger to Jasmine. Jasmine could have fucked around and just say, hey, you don't need to do YouTube no more, Fredo. You're already big as you are. Let's just raise a family and live life. Oddly, Fredo was not on that tip, you know what I'm saying, and had to put the foot down and things happen. <laughs> I'll never forget. I'm for real. I'm being for you. real too. I'm being for real too. I'm still helping you. And you still are. Okay, thank you. I'm happy. This is the Jasmine I want to see. The Jasmine that put me in my place and... And this is what I want to see. This is what I want to see. Everyone knows when I started YouTube, I started with Pretty Boy Fredo. All of a sudden, I changed. And I changed completely for one reason. For the family. Ava? Two reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Two reasons. You want to say the second one? <clears throat> the second reason. You nigga. <laughs> I wanted to show Jasmine that this was everything and more that I wanted forever. It's the moment I fucking met this girl. Can you not? I had to. No, can you not? From the moment that I met this girl, I just knew that I wanted 
a life with her. I knew that I wanted to build with her. When I finally got the opportunity to show her, it was all in. There was no turning back. And a lot of people on my channel could see the change. I changed. I was no longer that little boy that was sitting on the game, cursing people out. I turned into a man. I wanted to do better. I wanted to show the world that I am better, that I can be a man. So I stopped being Pretty Boy Fredo and we started the Two Times Family. In doing so, I felt like I sacrificed a lot. I sacrificed my own success to build with her. And then, once I seen that she no longer wanted to do that, it felt like a big stab in the back. It yeah. felt like, I felt like, how could you do this to me? How could I sacrifice everything that I worked so hard for? I stopped uploading on Pretty Boy Fredo for months. I'm talking like seven, eight months. Completely just stop my channel completely just to start something new start a whole new thing that we can have Forever I felt like that was the biggest stab in the back. I felt like at that moment I just felt broken. I felt lost I, I couldn't understand because I felt like I sacrificed so much The least you could do is sacrifice for your family as well hard for her not wanting to do the same effort it just it just hurt me and it felt like uh, a stab in the back even for our family. I feel like in that moment I wasn't thinking financially about our family. I was only thinking about taking care of Ava and just like I neglected YouTube, you neglected and you weren't hands on with Ava. <coughs> and I wasn't. And at That's that time, how I say it. At that time I can admit that I was there in my daughter's life, but I wasn't completely there. So that's why I feel like my priority was Ava and her taking care of her on a day-to-day -day basis. And your priority was only YouTube. Yeah. And that's where the conflict was because I wanted you to spend time with us off camera <coughs> and really be more hands-on with her and you were more like well we need to do this and need to do that because we need to make a video i wanted yeah he's staying on his grind i wanted yeah i wanted it to be genuine even before i would be like i don't know if you're really buying me flowers for a video or are you buying me flowers because you want to i can admit that so it you know when you're in a youtube couple relationship it can get so confusing because you do start doing stuff just for the camera without even knowing. It's not even that you know that you're doing it for the camera. It just happens. I understood all that, but at mm. the same time... I can kind of agree and disagree. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys know when Duck Reacts is in this full-blown relationship, you feel me? It's just like... Those are things I'm gonna do regardless, and I just happen to have a camera. That's the type of role play I play. Like, if I have the camera right now, you know what I'm saying? You see me go down the street... And you see me drive my car and, you know, I have some serious road rage and start cussing out somebody. I ain't do that for the camera. I'm going to do that regardless if the camera's out. If you're going to start talking reckless, you know what I'm saying? But other people have their different, you know what I'm saying, opinions with this. I, mean, it was, uh, I felt like we could not stop. And I felt like once she did that, I felt like it's, 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 it's been, we've been doing this for so long. It's like, how do we, how do I undo everything that we done built? I felt like... Now I had to start from scratch. I had to go back to my main channel and try to figure out everything all over again. And, and of course, and of course that caused more, more problems because then I started acting out of character. I started inviting girls inside my videos. You know, I wasn't messing with these girls at that time or anything. I was just inviting in my videos. I was doing things that was very hey. uncharacteristic of my character. I did not care to look at them. I didn't care to have any type of relation. But it was still disrespectful. I, it was disrespectful. It was so One disrespectful. million percent. It was a billion percent disrespectful. But, but in that moment, I was so focused on trying to rebuild and just trying to to make something out. I just feel like in this part, he doesn't have to apologize for that. Like, he's trying to make his channel lit. Like, I can see if you're just inviting girls just to have a party and a kickback and just be like, woohoo, I'm lit, this and that. But, bro, it's for a camera. It's the reason why they have a mansion right now. It's the reason why, you know what I'm saying, like, he's, you know, everybody's dripped down and they're able to, you know, provide. That's the reason. Like, I just feel like, you know what I'm saying, certain women just got to really look at the bigger picture instead of letting their pride and their ego get to side, you know what I'm saying? Nothing like, and I'm insecurity. going to extreme limits. I'm, sorry, hold on.
You got a wedgie? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm keeping it in. Doing thing out of, out of my characters, I did not even realize it because, you know, I was living in that moment. And I'm the type of person, I got to live through something and then further down, look back like, damn, nigga, you really was. He up. learns everything the hard way. And I have said that from like day two. You could just really see that she lost herself. She was not, and it's fine, through motherhood, I understand this, you change, you grow, you become a different person, but also you still can lose a portion of yourself, and I felt like that's exactly what happened, and I just wanted to see her do, that, do better, and I wanted to see her be better. I need to be better and do better, but then you didn't want me to care if you were disrespecting me in videos or online. Once again. And that was hard too. In that, in that moment, I didn't know what the I was doing. Okay, but now you realize, and now that's I why realize. I was so Talk, speak it out. I want you to speak. I want you to say everything. He was making his content you, more lit though. You feel. I feel like if we're in a relationship and I'm going through something, then you should still be there for me. And I was. I we you went to therapy, did you not? Did I not suggest you to go to therapy? Were you not in therapy and you were working on yourself and I was still doing videos, correct? This is when girls get brought into it. And exactly. Because every and time I was in <coughs> therapy, all I was talking about is how you're disrespecting me with all these girls. We're in a revolving door where I would walk I, we would walk through and it's like hi nigga and then come back and it was like <laughs> Every damn day, through therapy, everything was, it was the same. I just can see this, this, this revolving door happening over and over and over why did you and see over. Why it was like that? What do you mean? You wanted me, this is what pisses me off, is that you wanted me to get better and this, this, and this. But you were still finding yourself and doing whatever the hell you wanted to do. And that's because what's the point when I seen that there was a revolving door and shit just kept happening over and over that I just really started not to care. And that is the God honest truth. Before that, I gave you plenty. I gave you time. The, the <laughs> moment that I told you and I looked at you and I told you that I no longer wanted to be with you, you cried your ass off. Who wouldn't cry their ass off? Exactly. Of course. All right. Uh -huh. All I know is that in December, when I told you to your face that I no longer wanted to be with you, this is far before I even had the slightest bit of contact with any female, any girl, because that's not the type of person I am. Right. And that's not the type of person I was in a relationship. Never. Never was I like that. Was I? Was I ever like that in a relationship? Why Didn't I give you? I'm not getting upset now. I'm not She's getting upset. I'm just not getting upset. Point. He's getting upset. Did I or did I not? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy because look, I can relate to arguments like this because sometimes like women will be the calm, they'll, they'll play the calm role real quick and then when they see you getting fired up, they'll just try and just be like, look, why are you getting upset? And then that, that they're ready for you to just spaz and spaz and spaz. That was good for him to, you know what I'm saying, keep his composure on this part. You all of myself, every single thing you ask for, Instagram DMs, Twitter DMs, text messages, location on, call me, don't do this, don't do that, jump how high. Did I not give you all of me in a relationship? Did I not? Yes or no? Yeah. And I did. Because I am not the type of person, if I'm, I'm with someone and I'm committed to you, and I give you my all, I'm going to give you my absolute all. I'm going to sacrifice everything. Now, I would have been the bad guy if I would have kicked. Would this have made more sense if I just kicked you and my daughter out the door? How would I look? Yeah, that's bad. I would bad. look like the asshole. I would look like the bad guy. Instead, instead, me being in love with you and understanding all the pain, all the hurt, all the years and time that we don't put through, I couldn't stand to do that. I, I'm not that type of nigga. I'm not ill. Even to this day, even to this day, anything you ask me for, you know it's done. And you know that one million percent, because I will never ever let you go down. Never. Right. After everything we've <laughs> been through, anything you ask me for, you snap your fingers. You know it's done, and you know that, and you can't say that it's a lie. I'm not. You know I will jump at that opportunity every single time, because when I got somebody, I got them for life, and that's Facts. a fact. I will never let you go down. I will never let you be down. I'll be down. So when I came to the conclusion that I no longer wanted to be in a relationship, I couldn't just kick you out. I just couldn't kick my daughter out. I would never, ever in my life live better than my daughter. Never in my life would I be sitting in this big ass 
fucking house by my damn self while my daughter is kicked out on the streets. I'm not that type of nigga. My parents didn't raise me to be that type of nigga. I would never be that type of nigga. So if that meant that I had to some way, somehow figure this shit out and make this shit work for the, 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 the family's sake, then that's what the fuck I had to do. That's what I had to do. And that ultimately led to leading on and to furthermore, adding more pain to the situation. What I should have did, I should have cut it off right then and there. In December, I should have looked at you and I should have told you. I should have said, this is it, this isn't working. Far before, far before any females or anything. So I didn't have to live through the shit that I gotta live through today. Now, I gotta live through the shit that Fredo cheated, that Fredo did this, Fredo did that. When in December, I told you to your face that I did not want to be with you. I told you this, and I shoulda, and that's my fault. And I take full responsibility that I told you, but I didn't carry it out. I shoulda kicked your ass out, but if I woulda kicked your ass out, how would I woulda looked then? And, and like plus, right I had to, oh, no. like, oh, no. to because of the how you started to come at me. I, I didn't want to bring this, I didn't want to bring this energy. The only reason why I brought this energy is the only way I can explain what the it's starting to get out. intense right now. If I would have kicked you out in December, you and my daughter, if I would have kicked you out, how the fuck would I look? I could not live with myself every single day knowing that I kicked somebody out that done gave me as much as the time that I gave you, you gave me. I couldn't kick you out. I couldn't live with that pain. Watching you cry every single day, you telling me how much you want this for the family. I'm calling my I'm calling my mom, I'm calling my dad. They're telling me, oh no, you gotta stay with Jasmine for the family, for the family, for the family. Okay, I ended up staying in the relationship for the family. And look what that shit, look what that shit got me. Look where it got me. For the family, for the family, for the family. Look where it got me. Now it got a bad character on me. Now I got motherfuckers saying, oh, Fredo cheated. Fredo did it. What? Huh? You literally just, you literally just said, in December, we had a conversation. You didn't want to be with me anymore. Right. I didn't. And I told you I didn't want to be Can with I you. Can I please talk? <laughs> you had that, he had that conversation with you. <laughs> but did you or did you not still continue to be with me. And I'm gonna tell you why. All the pain that I've seen you went through, all the crying, all the who, hurt, okay, who all the pleading. Be hurt? Who would not be hurt? Okay, but if you, you were engaged in October. <laughs> 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 you the to in October. Who would not be hurt? Of course. So let me have my, you feel the way you feel, let me feel the way I feel. Okay. Not correct? Oh, correct. man. I, I, but you're not letting me finish. I understand. It's because I'm pissed off that you don't think that you cheated on me. I understood. Bro that you were hurt. I had to sit there and watch somebody that I love. No matter how hard it hurt, I wanted to see you be better. I wanted to see you do better, but I knew you wasn't gonna do better with me. I knew you wouldn't, but you begged, you plead, you cried every single day in this household. You did that to me every single day. You made me feel like shit. You made me feel like shit because I did not want to be with you anymore. And that's the God honest truth. You bled, you begged, you plead, you cried for this family. You cried. I and did. I felt okay. And I felt that. That's why I stayed. So that you stayed. I did. Okay. I did. I'm saying that's why I stayed. But I I told you I didn't want to do it. I told you I didn't want the relationship no more. I didn't want it. Because it wasn't working for the both of us. It wasn't working for me. It wasn't working for you. It wasn't working for the family. Shit wasn't right. It's very confusing when you're seeing that, but then we're still living under the same roof. Because I couldn't kick you. Like she couldn't really. kick you I out, kick though. You out. I couldn't you kick you out. Me. You made me feel like shit. You, you made me feel like a bad. Shit. Because I didn't want to be with you. Yes. What the? When, when if I want to see you, you if I want to see you do better, if I want to see you do better, I don't give a. I don't give a. Listen, if I felt betrayed, as in, I felt like you gave up on me. I felt like you completely gave up on me. You completely gave up on the family. I no longer wanted you. I no longer wanted to be with you. I didn't feel that. Why the f am I going to be with you? Why? If you stop caring for the
and family that you didn't want to provide no more? Providing, I just providing. Provide. You're an amazing mother. Don't. You're an amazing mother, and I'm not saying that. You know, I'm not saying that. Every single day, I had to watch you in front of my eyes, hurt, cry, and beg and plead to be with me. If it was easy just to leave you and leave the relationship, I would have did so. But it wasn't that easy because we were underneath the same roof. If we weren't underneath the same roof and didn't have a daughter, to be honest, it would have been a lot different. Because it would have been a lot easier just to put things to a side and work on our differences. Work on our own happiness and then come together. But because we couldn't do this and I couldn't kick you out, we were underneath the same household. Now, I'm not going to sit there and watch you every single day be miserable. Right. I'm not that's not what a real to. man wants to do. I'm not going to. And that's my fault. I take full responsibility, and I'm trying to say this on camera. I take full responsibility, and I'm sorry. I apologize. I was wrong for not completely cutting it off. That was my fault. But also, it's your responsibility as well. Because you knew that I no longer wanted to be in a relationship. Okay, so he's making it established right now. <clears throat> so basically what Fredo was saying that, look, Jasmine, we have a kid, we have a family, we need to stay together, not only for the sake of our health, the mental being, when it comes to just being a family, but when it comes to me actually want to be with you and, you know what I'm saying, be lovey-dovey, that's cut off. And that's what Fredo was trying to basically say. Basically, Jasmine was playing, a, you know, a baby mama role in which she just had to just only play her role. And I honestly feel like when Jasmine started to see him talk to other girls, she just felt some type of way. You know what I'm saying? That's what, you know, a lot of girls do if they really love you. If she didn't feel no type of way, that means that she didn't really love you. So, in a way, it's a good sign, but it's also a bad sign because she got, you know what I'm saying, Fredo thrown with the cheating. You know what I'm saying? Th thrown under the bus and everything like that. I honestly see where it's going now. My opinion, like I said, I'm not on nobody's side, but I have a right to state an opinion. I feel like Fredo didn't cheat. I felt like what really happened is that Fredo let Jasmine be known in December that he didn't want to be with Jasmine anymore, but he was not going to kick her out the house. She was going to be allowed to stay in the house, you know what I'm saying, live a, a, a sky-high free life, you know what I'm saying, take care of Ava, make the family glow up and everything. And basically, you know what I'm saying, Fredo was just allowed to basically pretty much be single, but it wasn't going to be to the public's eye. But, you know, at the end of the day, Jasmine didn't want it to have it that way because she really wants to be with Fredo, and you know what I'm saying, at the time she was going through stuff and she you know or, you know she was feeling depressed and Fredo didn't really want to deal with that but at the same time Fredo was still taking care of her I don't feel like Fredo's running in my opinion that's what a real man is doing you know what I'm saying Fredo could have easily just been like listen I'm a boss ass nigga I'm Fredo two times this is SSH get up out my house you know what I'm saying put me on child support I don't give a F you know what I'm saying but nah he stayed you know what I'm saying solid kept her in the crib you know what I'm saying I just feel like he's not in the wrong like make me feel like shit you made me feel terrible because I didn't want to be with you no more. You made me feel horrible. And I, I got my mom and my dad telling me, oh, stay with her for the baby, do this for the baby. So I'm trying to make it work. I got my sister telling, I got everybody telling me, make it work for the baby. Make it work for the baby. And ultimately, look what that led me. And throughout that process, shit just got worse and worse and worse and worse. And then it got to a point where I did not give a fuck. But some days, you wouldn't give a fuck, and some days you and wouldn't. And it was, and I agree. And it was the most confusing thing for me to deal with. And, and I agree, and it's all a part of us being underneath this damn household. We couldn't and get if, away from each other. If Eva was not a part of the picture, then I would have been left. Things would have been different. It would have been so different. It would have been different. But I felt like I was fighting because I didn't want Eva to grow up with us separated, because we never had our parents and together. It, it, <laughs> And that's why I was fighting. That's why I was fighting. So I think it was just for me. It was for Ava. And that's why I was fighting as well. Because I I grew up without a family. You grew up without a family. I didn't want to see that either. But a part of me still seeing you suffer. I don't think you understand that. I had to watch somebody that I love be a completely different person. Like, wow. I had to, and you turned into a completely different person I know that. Too. It turned me into a completely different person. But I watched somebody that I love was 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 not happy and that was eating me alive each and every single day regardless for our family or for our daughter or not it was hurting me as well i was hurting to see that right and it just got worse and worse and worse and our relationship just got worse and it got to the point where i just didn't give up i didn't tell you i would tell you straight to your face that i did not care i would say it i didn't care i became i became a demon 
I became, you did. I call you I dumb became a Whoa. terrible person. I did not care. And I would tell it to her face, I don't give a fuck. I would say that. You would say that? It was like we would have an argument and then you would say that and all hell would break loose. And then the next day or two days later, you would, we just would want to be a family again. It wasn't fair. It was, it was honestly hard because of this household. Because from the start, if we were able to find some type of way where we could have separated, she got, she could have got an apartment or something like that. Like, in all honestly, I wasn't ready for that. True, too. I wasn't ready to see my, to, to, to not have my daughter every single day. I wasn't ready to, to not be a family. I wasn't ready for that. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry because I loved you that much. I didn't want to see that shit happen. I ain't never want to get to this point. You think I wanted to be here? You think I wanted to, to, to wake up and not have my daughter by my side? You think I wanted Yeah, that? nobody wants to go through that. I didn't want that shit. Nobody wants to I go through that. I didn't want that through, shit. I, I didn't want that shit. Stuck through. And I tried. I, I, felt, like, I, like I felt like I tried through. everything I could. I feel like you were just like, fuck you. And then it just went about being whoever the, whoever the hell you turned into. I felt like I gave you plenty of time and opportunities. That's just how I feel. You gotta understand, like, I've lived this i felt this in real time. But there's a lot that you didn't understand until yesterday. And there's a lot that you didn't understand either. But I still feel like what you did was not okay. And how I feel- I'm not just I'm not- but I'm just saying, how I feel, I, I don't- I don't feel like the words that what I've called you, I feel like that's how I feel. I do feel betrayed. I do feel like you stepped out on our relationship and I felt like, I feel like you did something that was unforgivable. And, I, and how are we supposed to get back to that? I can get better and go back and work and want to do YouTube videos, but how do we go back from, from a personal betrayal where I, where you're living all these different lives. How do we, how do we go back from that? And I felt betrayed because I sacrificed damn near everything in my life to make you happy. To make, for you, ultimately for you, I sacrificed everything to make you happy. I put a ring on your finger to make us happy, to show you. I felt like when I put that ring on your finger, I didn't do it for a fucking social media. I didn't did it for, for the video. I didn't do it for anything. I did it to show you that I was fully invested in this relationship and that I was willing to sacrifice it all. I'm showing you the lengths that I'm willing to go. And then I felt betrayed once you turned on the family. You no longer wanted to provide for the family. It felt like a slap in the, you don't understand how that feels for me. My career, my career, my YouTube, you know how much that means to me. For me to put my shit on hold for our family and then all of a sudden you don't want to put the same energy back into the relationship? That felt like betrayal to me. And at that point, once I realized that, that's when I told you I no longer wanted to be with you. Because I felt betrayed. I felt like you felt me. You felt me. And then after all of this shit, furthermore, you're attacking my character. You're making me seem to be like something that I'm not. In this relationship, I gave you everything. I gave you everything, everything. I gave you all of me. No, I gave you all of me. And then you got right no. up sitting here telling me, oh, you ain't treat Jasmine right. That's a mother lie. Whoa. And God knows that's a mother lie. Oh. Everybody around me know that's a mother lie. My dad, my mom, Malik, everybody know that that is a lie. Took five minute break. I wanna take Whoa, that went too fast. Come on. Okay, basically, I think they just said it took a five-minute break. After I told Jasmine that I no longer wanted to be with her, I watched her cry, I watched her plead, I watched her beg for the family. I couldn't stand to watch her sit there and suffer in pain. Also, <coughs> I didn't want to break up my family as well. I let Jasmine on. I was completely wrong for doing so. I was wrong. Although I said it, I should have ended it right then and there, and because I did it, I am one million percent wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong because that ultimately just put her through more hurt, more pain, and more suffering. All right? I should have been a bigger man and I should have just ended shit. I should have. I should have ended it. 
And I tried, and I tried my hardest, but I couldn't. I couldn't. Although I didn't want to be with you, I didn't want to see the family break up. For my daughter's sake, for my sake, for your sake, we had such an amazing bond for six years that I, that, that was not something I was willing to let go overnight, but I knew what needed to be done. I, 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 I couldn't do it. I couldn't watch my family break. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So I kept going on. So we kept moving on. And I was doing stuff that I shouldn't have been doing. Wow. I take full responsibility for my actions. But also what I did not appreciate is that after the breakup, every, after everything was put out, then I got painted as this cheater, as this bad guy, that this guy that didn't treat you well. You know that that's a lie. Everyone around us know that that's a lie. Everyone around us know that I sacrificed and I did everything I could to make Jasmine happy at all fucking times. That's respect. You were my number one priority. You knew this. The family had always been my normal, number one priority. My family had always come first. Everything I do is for my family. So why, why the would I intentionally, intentionally and maliciously want to hurt you? You didn't mean to intentionally. I didn't mean to. But you did. And, and, and I know I did, but you gotta understand that I tried to walk away. I tried to. You did not allow me to, and a part of me didn't want to as well. And that's bottom line what it was. The world is looking at me as a monster. I'm painted as this evil nigga that didn't give a fuck about your feelings, and that's a goddamn lie. But didn't last Be night you That's a goddamn lie. Because, you. because <laughs> I can't control my emotions. When I had to deal with the past two months, I got to deal with my looking at me like I'm a fucking monster. When that's not the fucking case. Through pregnancy, through everything, I held your fucking hand, day in and day out. You had a whole entire year to be with your daughter every fucking day. You know how many females would die for that? But I worked my fucking ass off so you can have that. I worked my ass off so my daughter can have that. No, I was not there every day for my daughter. No, I was not hands on every day for my daughter, but I worked for that fucking opportunity. I worked for that. I work for that, and now I feel like you hit me, you stabbing me in the back. You making me feel bad. You making me feel bad for doing that, for providing. I fuckers wish they could do that. Niggas get 60 day notice and they gotta go back to work the next day. You sat on your ass every day with our daughter. I wish we could have changed roles. I already didn't have a good relationship with Ava because of the YouTube shit, because of where my focus was. And now you have a better one. And now I do. Now I do because of the breakup, because it forced me, because it forced me to be a better father. And now me and Ava, we, we have an amazing relationship. But before when we were in a relationship, you don't understand that sacrifice. I had to sacrifice that time so you can have that time. I had to do that. I had to do that. I had to put in that work of effort into them video. I had to do that so that you can have that time. I'm just tired of being painted as a bad person. I'm you tired of- You are a bad person. You made wrong, bad decisions. You aren't a bad person. I tell you that all the time. You're not a bad person. And you're making it seem like I'm, just, I'm a maliciously, just out of the blue, cheated on you, and shit just like, what? No, we been happy. I feel this. like if we were still Acting as if we were in a relationship, and I still felt like we were in a relationship. Why are you doing what you're doing then? It was not good. It wasn't good, but it was I not good. was I. Let's not pretend. I I'm tired of you pretending, Jasmine. Shit was not. Nothing good. was good, but it we, was not good. But we had. Wait, we oh. were still loving each other. Like we shit were was not good. It was we not loving each other. Shit was not good at all. Okay, so don't it was never start. Good. Don't start. Oh my gosh, it's about it to get real. It was never we good. had a lot of terrible nights. A lot. We had a lot of horrible nights. Nights that I would tell you I don't give a f about the relationship. The re I told you to your face the relationship was not a priority to me. I told you this to your face multiple times. Before any girl. Before. That's not true. So before. Did I not say that? We're done. We're done. Oh no. That's it? Go subscribe channel Ava support on her journey. I still want to see successful maybe 
day we can work out. Oh my gosh. Couldn't finish the video with Jasmine just Damn. because Jasmine, she just doesn't want to take accountability and responsibility that, you know, she played a part in the relationship as well. It's not just all my fault. And also, I have yet to talk down on her name. I have yet to talk down on her image or make her seem like a bad person because I don't want to do that. I don't care to do that. All I care is to clear my image and clear my name because I am not a bad person and I don't want to be set out to seem like the bad person. I don't want to be seen as a bad guy when I'm not. When I tried everything that I possibly could with her, but this didn't work. So anyways, I have my dad here and this is just another perspective on the relationship. You know, my dad is a good person. He's not going to sit here and lie. If I'm wrong, he's going to tell me where I'm wrong. You know, he's just going to say exactly what the situation is and what it was like to see it in real time and real life and really be a part of it. All right. So I also have my mom off to the side. You know, this is my parents' perspective. They're not biased, once again, on me and, you know, my life. If I'm wrong, they're going to tell me I'm wrong. And I'm not afraid to be wrong. I hope that everyone understands that. I'm not afraid to be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll take responsibility. And I have. I just want Jasmine to take responsibility on her and to understand that it's a 50-50 thing. A relationship is just not one way. So I got my dad here and I got my mom. She's over here. So y'all just go ahead. Sure. Didn't always do the right thing, but he was a, he's such a wonderful person. I mean, he's got such a kind heart. He took good care of Jasmine. He always made sure she had everything she wanted. Fredo took care of Jasmine for everything. He loved her to death. And then as things got on, she didn't. They didn't seem to show the love that, or she didn't show the love that he needed. And I know Fredo called me up and said, "I don't feel loved. I don't feel loved at all." And that's where things were going wrong. And I said to him. You're going to have to try to work it out. Try to work it out for Ava's sake. Well, obviously, it wasn't doing very well. And so, Fraver really already told her. He told me. In December, Fraver told me he doesn't want to be with her anymore. And it's got to end. And she stayed because, really, it was hard for her to figure out where she's going to go. And he stayed, too. Jasmine knew that. Jasmine knew that it was not going well. And all these things that are happening now, she gets angry, and I understand that because, you know, she's a female, but she, he didn't do anything wrong. He didn't do anything to maliciously hurt her. He didn't want to hurt her, but they had to stay under the same roof, you know, I and mean, that was hard, and he never cheated on her, and that girl that's taking all this, that one girl, she's a sweetheart, she didn't have anything to do with it, nothing whatsoever. Fredo already knew he wasn't going to be with Jasmine. I, I, I said to him, you gotta let her go. And he, he did let her go, but she didn't want to go. So wow. what are you gonna do? And she wasn't always perfect, but none of us are perfect. But I can tell you one thing, she certainly didn't treat uh, Ron and I as good as she should have. There wow. were times that her told us to come by. He may not have told her that we were coming, but that's besides the point. <laughs> she said when we got here, and then grandma was here too, she said, what are you doing here? Well, that's very hurtful. Oh, hell no, nah, man. That's and mad. It's my mean. Parents, my parents treated her oh, like yes. I loved her. a daughter. Like, literally, her mom did not give a fuck about her. And I will say that. And I will say that to your face. And that's right. My grandma back there, my grandma back there clapping. Her mama didn't give a goddamn fuck about her. My parents, this this hurts me. My parents took her in like a fucking kid, like her own damn, like their own damn child, and and treated her like one of their own. Wow. And she did not appreciate that shit. She treated my parents like shit, and that was just something else. Yeah, that's a red that flag. Added to our already messed up relationship. I seen Fredo sacrifice everything. Just to please Jasmine. She wasn't happy. She didn't know whatever Fredo did for her, she just didn't seem to be happy anymore. A lot of girls her age <laughs> wish they would be in the position she was in. I mean, that girl had anything. Any, if any she fucking wanted thing something, Jasmine asked for yeah. was done. Yeah. If she wanted something, done. She'd go to the store and buy it. No questions asked. Not only just the materialistic things, but also in a relationship. Me sacrificing everything that 
I love and want to do just to make her happy. I did that as well. It wasn't just materialistic, it was on all in. It's sad to see her talk bad about him when he did so much for her throughout their relationship. Right, right. To, to take somebody and, and talk terrible to her. Sometimes things just don't work out. You know, it doesn't mean Fredo's bad or Jasmine's bad. Yeah, exactly. Many people are in relationships and it doesn't work out. It just didn't work out. Doesn't it's mean not meant to they be. They don't still love each other, but they can't. How many people get divorced? They're not even, weren't even married. Yeah. But Fredo needs to have his peace. He was not at peace. When he called me up, he was so sad. And I, it just broke my heart. And it broke my heart for her too, because I know how a woman feels. So I think it was all for the best. They can be a happy couple with without being together, take care of Ava. She's what's important. This is what I worried about was that little girl. But Fred was a wonderful father. I, I, I can't believe, and I always knew he would be, but he is wonderful. He'll give anything to that little girl. Anything, I'll do anything for my and daughter. That's dope, that's dope. Jasmine. And I'm still, to this day, Jasmine texted me, I just spent 400, 500 on, okay, cool, set. Can I go get a massage? She just sent me this shit the other day. Can I go get a massage? Done. I don't, I will never status. leave Jasmine down in the dirt. I'll never talk down to her character, but I don't respect her doing that to me. She she got my sister, she got her brother, she got all Damn, and she still like, didn't explain like that he's not a cheater. Didn't he sit there and beg Jasmine to make a video and, and say something that he's not a cheater and didn't cheat? That's kind of messed up, man, because it's just like, as a woman, that's really selfish, like, that's your empire, you know what I'm saying? You're basically getting in the way of the bag right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't say shit. I sat there and I watched this shit happen right in front of my face. And I had to sit here and be the bad guy. Yeah. Meanwhile, the people around me, they know what's up. They know what I've been, I've been told my parents in December that I did yeah. not want to be with her. Oh yes, he told me too. And they begged me, they said Fredo for Ava. Yeah. And that's where I messed up. And I'm just trying to yeah. have clarity to that, that that's where I messed up. Anything else y'all want to say? No, I just said, uh, I don't, it breaks my heart that, that she's doing this to Fredo. It broke my heart many times that she just didn't seem to, to love me. And I always told her how much I loved her. But Jasmine has her issues. She did too. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. Jasmine's not perfect. You know, and my parents are not here. They, they love Jasmine. They care for her. But bottom line, everyone has to take responsibilities for their actions. Facts. I have Damn, that son hit, man. For my action and the role that I play in this relationship, and Jasmine must as well. I don't know when this will happen. I tried my hardest to do this with uh, with Jasmine. I will continue to 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 keep my focus on Ava and how I can be a better father for Ava, and that's just not gonna change. But I hope that this brought you guys some type of clarity. I hope one day that me and Jasmine, we can come together and take accountability and responsibility for both of the responsibilities that we had in the relationship. I love you guys, and I'm hoping that one day we can make this work. I'm out. Man, that is the end of the video. Hashtag reaction god down below, bro. We are the king of reactions, bro. Nobody's on a level with this reaction ish, man. We started this, man, and I'm keeping my crown on top of my head, bro. You go find me another reaction channel that has had back to back to back 40 plus minute reactions this month, bro. Half of these people can't even sit on the damn chair for 15 minutes, bro, and give y'all some quality ish, man. But look, bro, all just aside, bro. With all being said and done, bro, you guys know that I don't take sides with stuff usually like this, and I like to be 100% neutral, 100% fair, even all because it's like none of my business whatsoever. But in my purest opinion, and it's no offense to anybody, you know what I'm saying, from everything what it looks like in this video, in my real deal opinion, I feel like Jasmine is in the wrong, you know what I'm saying, with everything going down. Because if you want to sit up here and, okay, let's say you want to call Fredo a cheater, this and that, you can't even explain yourself, you know what I'm saying? You got up mid-video and just basically quit. You just gave up basically what he was saying in the video, in the relationship. You basically gave up, in a way, on Fredo. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, it's none of my business. Hopefully they can... Hey, I just got a sub. Shout out to the new sub. You know what I'm saying? I don't got my stuff turned off when I, you know what I'm saying, do my live reactions and recording and everything. So, you know, the same settings from Twitch is still on there and everything like that. But shout out to you. I can't see your name on the screen, but you were the realest deal person. And you will be a billionaire sometime in your life. But anyway, man, 
If Jazz wanted to stick to that same energy and say, oh, Fredo's a cheater, he's this and that, at least stay for the whole video, explain yourself, you just gave up and left. Like, come on now, like that's not even fair. So it just gives me the reasonable doubt that Fredo is 100% in the right in the situation. Like I said, in my opinion, I feel like Fredo broke up with Jazz in December, kept her in the house so she wasn't kicked off in the street or had to go back to her parents' house and, and was talking to girls, which he's allowed to do because he is single. You know what I'm saying? At the point when Fredo broke up with Jasmine, Jasmine's now considered, instead of a wife or girlfriend, he, she's now basically considered a baby mama. You know what I'm saying? So Fredo is allowed to talk to girls. He's allowed to do videos with other girls. And even if they was in a relationship, I feel like you still allowed to do videos with other girls. To spice of content if it was in you know, a spice of content in that category, man. But y'all get down below and let me know y'all opinions, man. If you have ever been in a relationship or any type of situation like this, how did you resolve it necessarily, man? And for you guys that are in a relationship and you're going through your struggles, just don't give up. You know what I'm saying? Always hear the other person out. Never, you know what I'm saying, lose faith. Especially if you have a kid, you know what I'm saying, going through because at the end of the day you're living for your kid and you want to set the best example possibly hashtag reaction god down below